good morning students uh, we will start now so today we will be covering a uh, practical based on navy based classifier okay so if i search for uh, this navy based classifier okay so it is present in sklearn sklearn uh, library uh, so i will get this web page okay now look for the uh, class which is defined for navy based classifier okay so here we have the documentation uh, so we are familiar with this equation right so this y is my class label right so this p uh, sorry this y is my class variable and these are my feature vectors x1 to xn okay and this is my bayesian equation this is equals to probability of all the feature vector given y into probability of uh, y divided by probability of x1 to xn right then according to that independence assumption okay so we have uh, made two assumptions in new base right so we say that all the uh, all the attributes are independent right so we can split it we can split uh, this probability okay so it will be a probability of x1 given y into probability of x2 given y and so on okay that multiplication is denoted by this pi symbol okay we use uh, sigma symbol for summation and pi symbol this one for multiplication okay so for all the feature going from 1 to n okay you calculate this probability and uh, calculate the uh, multiplication of each individual probability into the probability of that class and then so that will be your final probability okay and for all the attributes for all the uh, class label this denominator remains the same okay so see here it is written since p x1 to xn that is this denominator is constant given the input we can use the following classification rule okay so you have to calculate this multiplication only the probability of class into this multiplication and you have to return that particular y which will maximize this multiplication right so we classify that sample uh, to that particular class which is having the highest multiplication right higher multiplication so we are familiar with this equation right so internally so when you implement using this scikit learn library so this values are calculated and we have different variants uh, here so we are, we have seen gaussian new base right so if the uh, attribute is continuous valued okay so you have to uh, go for this gaussian new base classifier okay so it is implemented in gaussian nb okay so this is the library so if i open this i will get this uh, uh documentation so see uh, gaussian nb is defined in sklearn nav base okay there is an underscore between sklearn dot nav base under that we have gaussian nb okay so we will be using this one okay it handles the uh, discrete attribute also okay uh, then we are familiar with this equation also right probability of xi given y equals to if this xi is continuous valued attribute then we have to go for this equation right and we are familiar with this parameters sigma y and mu y right so we'll be using this line right from sklearn SKL, uh, dot nav base import gaussian nb then we will be splitting our uh, data set into train and testing right then we have this uh class right from this library right nav base so create a object of that then call a fit function right this is a regular process and then we will be predicting for our test samples right so that is the prediction and true labels are there in uh y test right these are the original labels and these are the predicted labels so you compare them you will get the accuracy score there are other variants also like multinomial lnb okay so towards the end of yesterday's lecture we talked about one drawback of uh, navbase classifier 
if you don't have a sample of particular combination then ultimately you get uh, zero probability right so in order to avoid that problem we can add some constant value in the numbers this n represents the number okay number of samples falling in that category right will be uh, we were, we used to uh, calculate that uh, fraction now if you remember right so you add some constant to that okay if you add one value that smoothing is known as laplace smoothing okay so i have told you yesterday uh, we can add plus 1 to the numerator and plus 1 to the denominator now what happens even if the uh, samples there are no samples then you will have plus 1 right so in that case the probability will not become zero okay so that smoothing is known as, uh, known as laplace smoothing okay if it is less than 1 it is known as linston smoothing okay so you can go for this uh, you can use this uh, variant also okay so let us implement this so open our uh, jupiter notebook this is lab 4 and based on the new base i i will be using the iris data set okay so let us open the file okay so it is defined in this iris dot data file right so let me copy this code okay so in my directory i have this file iris dot data so we remember that there are 150 rows right and there are three classes right so and there is no attribute row so let us add that column so this will add the column right okay now columns will be added and these are the attribute names given by us okay okay sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and the class labels okay now we we can observe that their ranges are different okay it is uh, in between 0 to 1 here here we have the values in uh, 4 to 5 range right so ranges are different so we have to do the scaling right so we have two classes so first one is the standard scalar we have used this standard scalar in one of the practicals right standard scalar <coughs> i can show you the example okay so it brings all the attributes so this is our column 1 this is our column 2 okay it brings all the columns in the common range okay between minus 1 to 1 okay and we have in the last practical uh, we have used mean max scalar also right mean max scalar so you, you can use uh, any one scalar so in the previous practical we have used so let us first uh split our data set into the input attributes mm -hmm. that means independent variables and the dependent variables split will split that okay so what is happening so from the entire data frame i am dropping the class column okay axis equals to 1 means that is the column right okay so i am dropping this column sorry i am dropping this column and in x there will be sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width right okay and then in y i am just copying the class column of data frame okay so this is my independent uh, attributes and this is dependent attribute okay class variable so i got x and y if i want to show you x so see okay we have four columns now 
okay let us scale them in one common range okay so in the uh, previous practical i uh, we have used mean max scalar so we can go with that it will bring all the columns in common range okay so let us see the range that we have got x underscore scale okay i think 0 to 1 right so 0 to 1 so all are in common range so now we can go for the um, we will create an object of our classifier okay so we know that it is defined in so search for new base sk learn new base and we are going to use gaussian new base right so copy this code okay so from sk learn dot new base you import gaussian nb okay before that one step is remaining that is splitting out uh, of our in, uh, data set into training and testing okay so split that so we have train test split class right which is under model selection okay so we have train test split okay uh, so our independent attributes are stored in x underscore scaled then y test size so let's use 20 percent for testing okay so there are 150 rows that means 30 rows will be used for the testing 120 will be used for training okay splitting is done object so let us create an object of this so generally we give gnb okay as the object name and create an object of this okay now you have to use fit function right so give the training samples to that this is x train and y train okay these are my training samples okay now this data is fitted for this object right then we can utilize this object for prediction okay and for prediction we have a predict function okay so you can if you don't remember the function name you can look for the example right so objects is clear created then fit x and y right then i can use for uh, predict function for prediction okay and provide the test samples okay so g and b dot predict okay my test samples are there in x underscore test okay and this will give us the prediction so let us store that in prediction okay so this y underscore predict pred is the prediction done by our classifier okay and the original labels are there in y underscore test okay so we can compare them okay so let us run this much code okay so everything is fine so let us print y predict y underscore predict so we are getting iris versicolor iris setosa virginica and so on and if i show you the y underscore test these are the actual labels right so you can manually compare one by one versicolor versicolor then setosa setosa then virginica virginica versicolor versicolor okay or if you remember we have the metric called which metric we used anyone for the classification task in order to see the accuracy anyone how we see the performance of our classifier anyone bhargavi gavande bhargavi bhargavi are you there
ओके सो आई थिंक भार्गव इज नॉट देअर आई विल पुट हर अबसेंटी फॉर टूडेज लेक्चर तेजस्विनी हाँ सो वेन वी वॉन्ट टू कंपेर दिस एक्चुअल विथ द प्रेडिक्टेड वन विच थिंग वी यूज वॉट इज द मेट्रिक वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट मेट्रिक संजीवनी यू टेल मी वॉट वी हैव टू यूज आई वॉन्ट टू कंपेर नाउ हियर वी हैव ओनली थर्टी सैम्पल्स इट विल बी वेरी इजी टू कंपेर ओके बट इफ यू हैव मिलियंस ऑफ रेकॉर्ड टू बी कंपेर देन वी गो फॉर वन मेट्रिक दैट मेट्रिक इज कॉल्ड एज यस वन मिनिट हाँ यस हुज देर यस यस यू आर ऑडिबल यस करेक्ट करेक्ट थैंक यू सो वी कैलकुलेट अ कन्फ्यूजन मैट्रिक्स राइट एंड वी हैव रिटर्न अ कोड फॉर दैट सो वी प्रोवाइड see here confusion matrix the test and the prediction okay we also provide the labels okay so we can make use of this okay so it is defined in matrix library okay labels and y test and y predict okay so same name names are given predict and test right okay so C nine plus ten, eleven. Sorry, nineteen. Nineteen plus eleven. That is thirty. Okay, and we know that along the principal diagonal we have true positives, right? Okay, so there is no classification error. So we'll get hundred percent accuracy. Okay, these are the false negative and false positives. Okay, uh, so. any doubt so you have to remember the library and how to use the functions given there okay repeatedly we we are using these functions fit and predict remember the parameters that you have to pass okay and how to infer the result okay so you you got this y predict okay but how to use that okay so we go for this confusion matrix okay so along the principal diagonal we have true positive okay so there is no misclassification then you can say that uh, means the, uh, this model is performing with 100% accuracy okay we can go we can calculate other scores also like precision recall okay that code we are we are repeatedly using this code precision recall right okay so i will be sharing one uh, video with uh, with you there i have done the credit card fraud detection using neobes classifier you go through that also okay so that is a big data set okay and how to use neobes classifier there okay there uh, the accuracy is not 100% because there are millions of records okay so you go through that and this will be our fourth practical okay so i have already uploaded three practicals so i will be uploading this practical today okay so any doubt so remember the uh, library names that we have used and you can look for the examples and you can understand how to use uh, that library right okay